फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन इज द लास्ट इंप्रेशन आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ अस हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस कोर्स बट स्टिल मोस्ट ऑफ अस मेक दिस सिली मिस्टेक इन द वेरी फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच इज टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड लेट मी टेल यू दिस क्वेश्चन इज सो सो इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इट कैन इधर मेक और ब्रेक योर होल इंटरव्यू so in this video i am going to tell you what could be the best way to explain this question and why this is important and what different strategies you can put forward so that you can explain this question in much better way and i am covering the whole series of automation testing related interview questions where i am going to cover all different topics starting from introduction to different topics related to the automation testing and in this video i am going to cover about introduction related thing so if you haven't subscribed my channel please make sure to subscribe because this video series is going to be very very helpful for you and this particular video is going to be helpful to set the foundation for any interview so without wasting any time let's start this video okay so in this particular series i am going to cover all these different Uh, topics introduction behavioral question different topics but here i am going to cover specifically introduction related questions so let's see what is there so the first of all we need to understand what is the objective of this whole question so objective is to evaluate your ability to present your skills and experience concisely so basically interviewer want to understand what is your current role and responsibilities and different things from your previous organization and your career so far so that actually you have to present over here so in this particular case you have to focus on your role as an automation tester you have uh, achieved something you have to tell that also key projects you have worked and any highlights in the technologies you have worked so far and tools you have mastered so with that let's see how you are going to structure the answer for this tell me about yourself so you have to keep in mind these six things so you have to start with a very brief introduction so if you are going to start with your name and current designation years of experience how much experience you have and the software testing or uh, automation whatever is the experience you have you have to highlight your current and most recent role so here if you have to uh, explain then i would say something like hi my name is amit patri and i am a senior sdet with over 10 years of experience in designing and implementing test automation frameworks for web and api testing so something like that you have to tell in this particular uh, in this particular 10 to 15 seconds where you are starting with a very brief introduction okay second is you have to highlight your key responsibilities and skills in very 10 to 30 seconds okay so in here you have to focus on some tools and technologies you had worked so far so what type of applications you have tested whether it's web mobile or api or any other uh, applications you have tested your expertise you with your tools like selenium testng rest assured jenkins or etc so here one more thing which you need to keep in mind you don't have to tell hell lot of thing because it has to be very quick of uh, you know exp- explaining different tools and technologies you had worked so far and third thing is you have to tell about kind of frameworks you have worked whether it's page object model hybrid data driven so you can explain in uh, very briefly so maybe because you have to wrap this part in 10, 20 to 30 seconds so you have to also tell about focus on problem solving and prop- process optimization related skills because this is very important guys because in automation testing you have to be very much keen on problem solving and process optimization also so as an automation test engineer we have to always look forward how we can optimize the processes how we can reduce the manual testing uh, you know things or if we are doing multiple manual testing related things then how we can optimize those whole process also so if you are optimizing process also that is also very uh, you know good thing to tell over here 
So in a nutshell, basically if I summarize this whole uh, 20 to 30 second over here, you can tell in my current role, I specialize in automation, automating regression and end to end testing for web applications using uh, Selenium WebDriver and Testy, uh, TestNG. I have built robust frameworks following page object model principles, which improve test reusability by 40%. I've also uh, worked on API testing with tools like Postman and rest assured ensuring seamless integration with testing uh, across services. So here you have to tell about the some metrics also if you are aware about, but if you are not sure about explaining the metrics like here, if uh, it says that improved testing, uh, test reusability by 40%. So, you know, you have to explain also this 40% if follow up question come. So don't tell like 40%, 50% or 80% of reusability you have improved. So uh, if you are able to explain further this 40%, if interviewer asks you, then only mention this. Otherwise, don't mention because you will be stuck at that point when you don't able to explain this 40% of improvement. So, okay. So now this particular part, highlight your key responsibilities and skills you have to wrap up in 20 to 30 seconds. Next is discuss your key achievements. So what achievements basically quantifiable results or specific success stories. So maybe, you know, you have been awarded something or you had, uh, you know, uh, optimize something, optimize any process for which you got uh, appreciation from your manager or anyone uh, in, in the team. So challenges you overcome that had positive impact on the team or product. So this is also very important to talk because as an automation test engineer, you have to solve problems apart from your test related issues. Okay, so as a team also you are working. So whatever challenges you overcame that had po positive impact on team or product, you know, you had improved the product, uh, productivity of the team or you had improved the, uh, you know, quality of the product. Those things also, if you had worked and improved something and you got some achievements, then also you have to mention. You also have to mention whatever awards or recognition you, uh, you know, got. So if it is applicable, you have to mention that also. So maybe you can summarize this in this way. One of my key achievements was reducing test execution time by 60%, you know, so you have to explain, uh, maybe in follow up question, if uh, interviewer asks, okay, how did you reduce this execution time? So just for the sake of telling this, don't tell this because you will be further uh, stuck and whatever you are telling in this, tell me about yourself that is going to help you to get further follow up questions. So that's why I said that first impression is the last impression because whatever you are telling over here will set up the ground for further follow up questions. So it is very important. Whatever you are claiming, you back up with the proper responses or proper answers. Okay. So one of my key achievements here was reducing test execution time by 60% by optimizing the existing automation framework. I also identified and resolved critical bugs in a release cycle that helped the team meet tight deadlines, ensuring no production production issues. So here you are saying that resolved critical bugs again. So whatever keywords you are using, make sure you have further answers to them also, because if you don't know or backup, uh, if you don't have backup to those answers, it is going to you know, backfire you. So don't tell uh, you, I have resolved critical bugs. I have 60% optimized or something like that. If you haven't done it, don't mention it. If you ha uh, have done it, or if you don't know, uh, that is the main thing. Basically, if you don't, uh, if you haven't done, but still know, then you can mention and in follow up questions, you can explain that. How did you do that? Even if you did or not, that's fine. But if you know how to do it, that is also fine. So you can mention the key achievements in this format in here. Next part is uh, showcase your technical growth and learning. Basically, how do you, you know, uh, learning initiative, how, uh, what different learning initiatives you take 
or certifications related to automation testing or AI also is very, very important. So if you haven't checked out my AI related playlists, so you can go and check out also. I'll uh, put that in the, um, in the card. So here you have to tell about what different things you are learning in automation testing in order to make yourself up updated. Recently, you know, AI is breaking the grounds, right? So we also have to see how we are expediting our own, uh, you know, learning and how we are learning new things, which is coming. So those things are very important and you have to show enthusiasm for continuous improvements. Okay. So maybe I would summarize this as I recently completed a certification in advanced selenium automation and have been exploring AI driven testing tools to uh, enhance test coverage and accuracy. I'm passionate about staying updated with emerging technologies. So you have to tell what different things you are exploring, what different things you are learning. So uh, those things will be giving a, a positive impact on the interviewer. So that is going to help you. I also am covering many topics related to AI and how you can do testing in automation testing using AI. So you can check out the whole playlist. Uh, I will be at attaching in the description or the first pin comment. You can go and check out also that. So, okay. Next is relate your skills to the role. Here is the thing, you know, people get stuck and I'll tell you most of the people don't do this. So you have to see this, why they get stuck, relate your skills to the role. So what happens most of the time, how people, you know, uh, people apply to the courses, uh, people apply to the opportunities, they just go and click apply and without reading any description, what it is for and why, uh, why it is for. So if you have uh, the skills, which is a good fit for you. So then only, you know, you will get the interview and if, uh, you know that whatever skills you have is going to help the company or team for which you are being interviewed, then only, uh, you know, in interviewer is also going to consider further. So you have to be understanding that you are, you should be a good fit for that particular position and how your skills align with the company's need and goals, because the one question which comes uh, further that why should we hire you or uh, you know that kind of question um, you know uh, why should we hire you so there this particular research which you have had made about company comes very very handy so we will cover that question also in further upcoming videos but here you know you have to explain you have to uh, you know uh, get the all information about the company and you just have to tell this also how your skill is more relevant to the role you had applied so far and you have to you know i believe uh, if you just summarize this in this way i believe my experience in building scalable automation frameworks and working in agile teams aligns well uh, with the requirements of this role i am excited to bring my skills and passion for quality assurance to contribute to your team's success so this gives a positive impact a positive you know note to the interviewer that okay i had read about the um the uh, you know what you require so that's where you know i am telling that i am a good fit uh, for that particular role so that gives a positive impact on interviewer okay this person has learned about the company the role and what we exactly require so he is aware about he is or she is aware about those uh, things. So that is a positive impact in here. Now, next part is you have to end on a confident and enthusiastic note. So what does that mean? Basically, so you have to express your interest in the role and show eagerness to contribute to, to the company. And, you know, uh, you can summarize this in this way. I'm excited about the opportunity to leverage my skills here and look forward to contributing to your team's goals. So also you can put one open-ended question like uh, if you have any further questions, uh, I'm happy to answer those questions. So that way you are actually, you are summarizing the whole introduce myself in just one and a half to two minutes, not more than that. Most of the time people make mistake that they have lots of experience. They have done so many things, but they are, you know, keep on explaining, explaining, explaining. So it shouldn't be like that. 
tell me about yourself should be very concisely um, you know uh, you have to make that very concise and briefly about your whole experience so you have to make sure that you don't exceed one to two minute uh, you know time frame you can put one open ended question like okay i'm uh, uh, i'm open for any follow up question like that so that is going to give uh, interviewers also uh, time to think and whatever you told about that he uh, it is going to help them also process those uh, information you gave and ask further follow up questions so with that let's uh, see what are some of the tips for success in here in this particular uh, interview question uh, like uh, tell me about yourself so you have to keep it concise which i just told that first thing you have to make sure that it don't exceed for more than 90 seconds to 2 minutes okay second you have to tailor your response so that means research about the company's tech stack basically what they have been working for maybe they are needing any person who can work on c sharp selenium and you have all the experience on selenium java how we can you know how you can um, make sure that whatever skills you have is also going to be relevant in that case uh, in their company's uh, you know uh, role or opportunity they have uh, bring to you so you have to research about company's tech stack and emphasize relevant skills also you have to maintain a positive and confident note you know you have to avoid discussing negative experiences from previous roles or something like that you don't bitch around anything which had been uh, bad for you so uh, you know so also the last thing is you have to re rehearse your responses to sound natural and confident not the uh, rote one or robotic so you have to make sure that you uh, respond to sound natural and confident not robotic okay so that was all in this particular video i hope this was helpful please do let me know your uh, introduce myself in the comment box and make sure that you practice uh, this question very much because this is a, a question which is very very important and can make or break your whole uh, you know interview and at last if you haven't subscribed my channel please make sure to subscribe because this particular video is the first video in this series and there are more and more videos to come and please make sure to subscribe because this is going to be a very very informative video series and do let me know if you like this particular video and if you have any further comments or any suggestions please put in the comment box see you in the next one